108 years young. All right. Good to see you. And also Good with you. you. What's in the bag? Yeah. All right. Of which one? Wait, she said her uterus? Oh, my God. Her, her uterus is in her bag. Holy oh. The minute Opie got here, the first person I introduced him to was Tank, yeah. one of the best uh, uh, pig farmers in the country. And I go, this is Tank. Tank, meet Opie. Opie goes, hi, Hank. <laughs> <laughs> Look at how big those paintings are. Well, I don't come care. on, man. Uh, like I said yesterday, come I don't on. care less. <laughs> this makes no difference to me at all. If you're into it, you're into it. But I should be able to say, no fucking way. If you don't like it, sure. I don't give a shit. Don't limit yourself. When it comes to women, why walk through the hole, have a 19? I wish the buffet never ended. Just fucking walk through it. I mean, no, I mean, she's got... Uh, she's what got if she a, said something really sexy and smart to you? You know, I'd make sure we walked around the city after the sun <laughs> went down. I'd at least give it a try. And then if things start going well, maybe I'd, I'd start walking around as the sun's setting. Okay. <laughs> and then, I mean, these are six generations at U-Bonds in Mississippi. There's two things in Mississippi. A jail <laughs> and U bonds, <laughs> and it's it's um. <laughs> Wait, what did he say? He says I spent a lot of time in both. <laughs> Who are, and who's that? That's the barbecue ninja. He's the man. So I'm at the Rat Scaler. Remember those Rat sure. Scalers? Yes, they still exist on campuses today. And I got so hammered, I, I I was pretty much blind drunk. I was so fucked up, and I hooked up with this girl in front of everybody at the Rat Scaler. But everyone was hooking up. It was eight, you know, we're eighteen, and I'm making out with this girl. I'm noticing people kind of all staring, and I'm like, all right, yeah, look at me. I'm 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 I'm, I'm happening, right? And then they kept staring and staring, so I started getting like paranoid. I'm like, what the hell's going on here? Why do they keep staring at me? And then I swear to you, enough time went by where I was starting to sober up a little bit and realized as the night went on that the girl I was making out with, I couldn't I couldn't put my <laughs> arms all the way around her. But at first, I I I thought I was. Make it out with a supermodel. <laughs> but then that was my first thing. I'm like, wait a minute. Uh -oh. I can't even put my arms around sure. her as we're making out here. Yeah. Who's she? She's the barbecue princess. What? Were you in a coma? I'm trying to learn. I'm trying to learn. You, know where you, you are? You introduced me to like 25. Apple barbecue. We're not an American girl doll reunion. You, this is a barbecue. You introduced me to 25 rednecks in two minutes. <laughs> I'm trying to figure it all out now. Just say yes, sir, and thank you. And then you'll be fine. <laughs> That's all you have to know. That's it. That's it. Yeah. How, how you doing? Do you remember the Bigfoot show? No, no, finding me. I know it was called uh, Finding Bigfoot. Dean Kane was the host. Who? And he came in here. No. And I blew up his spot. Because <laughs> I'm like, I, I go, I love Bigfoot, Mr. Kane. And the whole show was, uh, I guess they were getting teams to try to find yes. Bigfoot. And then there was a huge prize if you found Bigfoot, and he was the host. <laughs> and I looked him right in the eye. I don't know exactly how, it, how he said it on the radio. But this is how I remember it. And I basically said, uh, you, you guys didn't find Bigfoot. He goes, what do you mean? You got you to tune in and wait. I go, because it would have been all over oh, the news. Yeah, you'd be right. No, that's right. right. Exactly. Same thing. There's <laughs> hey, uh, can, can we get y'all something to drink? You've got, okay, so I good. He likes a fruity drink. Oh! 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 <laughs> I was incognito, but I don't know if the mic picked that up, but he rolled in and said, I heard he likes a fruity drink. Bad news, bad news travels fast in Mississippi. <laughs> Oh, do you remember when you were PD at the Fox? I was 103.3? God, I wasn't a PD. He gave well, promotion. I worked at 103.3 the Fox, which was uh, my third home of rock and roll radio station <laughs> that I worked at. <laughs> do you remember the promotion that you came up with? Which one? For three? Oh, no. What was his trio thing called? Menage a Trois Weekend. <laughs> Ooh. I did do Ooh. that. I did do that. Oh, God. Shut up, Vic. Ouch. Shut up, Vic. Ouch. Ooh, that's... Why, I wish Voss was Bring here. Bring in some of your early years of comedy. No, no, that's why I don't record anything. <laughs> okay. Absolutely. What I want to know is, is it true? <laughs> oh, I think by the looks of his face, it's very true. <laughs> I mean, he drinks stuff that you need to wear garter belts with. <laughs> oh, come on, Gary, you like a you like a good like grapefruit beer or a fruity drink, don't you, Gary? Come on, help me out. What? What did you say? He said grapefruit beer. Now I do like some grapefruit 
fruit with some of that uh, vodka in it. Now, I do like that, but that's about as fruity as I'm going to get. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to get in a fight with Joe Rogan. You're gonna. I'd rather no. get in a fight with the I, other guy with the fucking uh, Super Jaime. What's his name? Doug, Doug Benson. Because Br- I could take him in a fight. I think. <laughs> the U-Bonds is known for hospitality. And for a long time, people would come up wherever we were and be like, hey, give me a Bloody Mary. Hey, give me a Bloody Mary. Hey, give me a Bloody Mary. So we figured, hell, fuck, start charging them for it. Right? right? Like yeah, Carl used to bring it by the station uh, before we got fired. But wait a second. Let me be clear. You got fired. <laughs> I, I'm Latino. We quit before that comes around a corner. <laughs> oh, y'all laugh yeah, your Lord goddamn heads quit. off. <laughs> We're quitters. Don't get me involved. And, and Carl said that as you took a pull off your fruity drink. So. <laughs> uh, John Lennon. We we played that song. Is and, he here? And uh, <laughs> No, but there's... You said it like he just walked in. John there's, Lennon's there's, here. Uh, <laughs> Gary and, and, and Ninja, Barbecue Princess, and Dave. They didn't even blink an eye. They said, come up, have a Bloody Mary. You're one of us. And, and, and I'll, uh, they'll be my friends forever. I just wanted to say, as they beat the shit out of me, I feel like I've known these guys for like 10 years. I just met them. Oh, yeah. And they'll, and they'll talk to you like they've known you for 10 years. Shit. You getting fat. <laughs> Carl, look at the titties on you. <laughs> they talk about you like they've known you since you were two. <laughs> She was in bad shape during that. They, 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 didn't, they didn't really show her in the documentary. They, I think you could hear Paulie talking to his mom in the whatever. documentary down the hall or whatever. Whatever. Yeah. Is Argus exactly. Hamilton still that, dating? I knew, there you go. Thank you. I was going. I was wondering if somebody <laughs> was going, who was going to make the joke oh, first. I thought about it, but thank you, Doctor. No, because I know you must know him because they got the same dumb dumb accent. <laughs> Hey, Argus. Hey, Vic. How you doing? How's Mom and Pa? Like, they're all related. Did you did you go to that Cracker Barrel near Chattanooga? Because that, that's his best sweet tea in uh, below the Mason-Dixon. Uh, oh, poor Argus. Initiation by fire. He's never been here. All of a sudden, he shows up. We have to kick the kids out, give him, give the kid the Opie's chair. I mean, it's a nightmare. I'm waiting for the deliverance music to start up. Oh, it's playing. It's playing. <laughs> you just don't hear it because it's about you. <laughs> We have you, Marcus. Uh-oh. Fuck. I wanted this call, too. He says, you're the problem. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm the problem. <laughs> it's not the first time he's heard that, I assure you. Kevin's the problem. Uh, not his neighbor. I know someone who got in a fight with him at a Wawa. Really? You ever get in a fight with somebody this? at a Wawa? Yeah. <laughs> what, was, what was that? Come on! What was that no, about? He's gonna have to tell me which town because I've got. There's several Wawa bros on your Wawa's. resume. Let's face it, nobody's coming to Yazoo City, Mississippi, unless they're going to prison. That's just how it is. It's just our truth. We have great tourism. I mean, people visit their uh, their their, their kids. Yeah, yeah. I mean, tourism, right? I came in third. I should have won because I had pocket aces and the guy had pocket six. And of course he hit a set and then I lost. So I was livid going home and I was, but I was, I was sober. So I, I was driving and the cop pulled me over and he was like, and I knew he thought I was drunk, you know? Right. As soon as he came up to the car, I go, let's do a breathalyzer right now. He goes, I didn't think you were drunk. I don't think you're drunk. I go, why would you pull me over? He goes, well, you weren't maintaining your lane. I go, I was the only guy on the fucking bridge, so I'm supposed to hug the fucking curb. <laughs> <laughs> so then he he put, you know, he 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 was going to give me five tickets, and then he ended up he figured he, after a while he figured out who I was, and then and then he let me go and he ripped up all the tickets, and now he's one of my best friends. As according to my daughter, he's my only friend. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Dave is so white; he looks like a security guard at Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, he's. He's from Short Hills? Yes. Yeah. I didn't know you were local. There's always someone from New Jersey ruining everything. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> we export cancer and, and litigation. <laughs> That's what we do in New Jersey. <laughs> Why would Mark David Chapman shoot Lennon when he had a clear shot at Yoko. That's everybody's joke. Yeah, that's a, that's a Bill Hicks. That's a Bill Hicks. Oh, I thought it was. Yeah, I think so. I'm pretty I, I sure. Saw, oh, I, he, I saw not Bill Hicks do it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know who did it, but it wasn't Bill Hicks. Oh, I, I he remember, had anger. He had anger in his voice when he a, when he did Hicks. that joke. I remember he. I remember I saw the guy I go. What a great joke! And then I, I guess it was just like a house joke. And let me tell you on, on, a, on, a, on a broader note why I like barbecue from Mississippi. If you go to a restaurant, uh, a lot of traditional barbecue restaurants, all you're going to get is beans and some collard greens and on the side, right? But in Mississippi, you have the barbecue, and then you have all this other stuff from the Delta that's unbelievable. 
probably the only state that knows how to make rice, <laughs> which is it's the fucking craziest thing. Uh, yeah, like if you ever go to if you ever they feel like oh, what should I get in Mississippi? I'm like a bulletproof vest and rice. <laughs> I mean, I think I and and the way they fry fish and the way they they go about all the sides and the and the flavors just have soul. It's barbecue with soul. In Mississippi, there's just a whole nother layer. You know, it's uh, it, it's like the jazz music of barbecue. It just has that soul. How, how did somebody from this part of the country gain that much Southern savvy? Is what I wanted to know. Cause that's that's wisdom right there, brother. Remember, Gary, Cuba's more south than Mississippi. <laughs> I'm the true South. We swim to your South. <laughs> Me, man, I'm out in uh, California, in uh, Santa Clarita, California. Yeah. Um, I just had Chipotle. Uh, I've been I've been in not doing well, you know? Anxiety's been through the roof. Why uh, Why anxiety? I, I, it's what I deal with every day. But I got a new cell phone. So yeah. I, thought, I think that should help. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Carl, we're still here. Uh, my stupid podcast equipment just crapped out. And we, we got Gary who wants to tell one more story. Well, this is a story about a speech-impaired midget, okay? <laughs> he won the lottery, and uh, he decided that he wanted to have him a racehorse. So he took the lottery money, and he bought him a new Cadillac, got a bumper hitch on it, bought him a new horse trailer, and he started touring around Texas. And he came to this spot that had big old white fence around it and big old long driveway, so he turned up in there. And he went and knocked on the door, and this big old cowboy come out with that Stetson hat, and he said, Mister, I would like to buy a waste horse. He said, Well, I got something I'll show you. Man, that, that Texan went and got a filly, brought her out. He said, what a filly is. Oh, that's a, that's a female horse. Yeah. He said, Man, she is so pretty. I love her. She's so pretty. He said, Can I see her? Can I see her teeth? Well, that Texan was kind of pissed off, and he just reached and grabbed him and stuck him up and let him open that mouth. He said, Yes, sir, she's healthy. She got some pretty teeth. Set him back down. He said, can I, can I pat her on the mane? He said, yeah. Now, that's that hair that comes off the neck. <laughs> he said, yeah. He picked him up and he petted him on the mane. He said, well, mister, can I see her twat? Well, he stuck. He got old Texan that got pissed. And he picked him up and stuck him up under that tail and just rubbed his face in it. <laughs> and he said, he set him down. He said, <clears throat> maybe I should have said, let me see her one around a little bit. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> Woo! That's perfect. It was cool. I mean, when he was holding the remote, did he fumble it? <laughs> <laughs> Tiki sucks, and he's a fucking bad. He's telling me you can you can quote me, quick, Chris. <laughs> you're gonna you're gonna make his anxiety even worse. <laughs> Ask him how his ex wife is doing. Oh, I, I was gonna go wow. there. I was. The part of the country I come from, we open doors for the ladies. Whether it be the truck door, or, or the barn door, or the front door of the house, we open doors for ladies. And if you do that up here, they think, "What the hell do you want? You know, what are you after?" But we still do it. It's, it's All right. so funny. Like I, I, uh, I, I thought was, there was going to be a joke there. No, she's opening the store, so yeah, I got it. What? I, I was waiting for the punchline. <laughs> Oh boy, I got, Chris, how's I your got, how's I your got, how's your relationship? You know, hey, we're trying, we're we're trying, we're moving forward. So I don't know. No, because me and Chris, we bond, and we both have Latin wives, and they both get a little not, yeah. not yelly, but stabby. <laughs> 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 He's laughing. He's laughing. I hear laughing. <laughs> Can I ask one dumb question? I want to ask about roadkill. There's a rumor that people in the South will pick up the roadkill and, and, and cook it. What year are you from, bro? I said it was one dumb question. Oh my God, they're giving me bad looks. Is that a Edis from Duke's eyes? Gary, help me out. Well, we only do roadkill if we see somebody run over it and we know it's real fresh. <laughs> <laughs> the other day, my son goes, he's four. He says to my wife, I don't even, I, I wasn't even there, but my wife told me, she goes, my son goes, oh, that's fucking gorgeous. And then my wife goes, Daniel, that's a bad word. He goes, gorgeous? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, he's already got the fucking gift. <laughs> and, and, and as far as roadkill, south is better than the, than the north, and I'll tell you why. I was in Brooklyn, and they, my friend brought his uncle from Italy. 
in Brooklyn, you have like this little backyard. It's like, you know, look like at a little grass patch. So we had all these pigeons sitting there. So I go to the house. They brought, oh, come over. The uncle's cooking pasta. <laughs> so I go and I'm eating the pasta. I'm like, it's a little gamey. What'd you make the bolognese of? The Italian guy goes in Italian. He goes, watch out, Eli. I go, the fucking pigeons? Oh, the whole family's God. like, this guy stood outside all day and killed pigeons to make dinner for the family. There is no redneck like a Sicilian. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Hey, 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 that remark. Hey, I'm half Italian from the waist down. I mean, come on. <laughs> my daughter, when Halloween was around, my daughter goes, Dad, what used to be when you were a Halloween? I said, I usually just dress like as a bum. And my daughter goes, so you just went as yourself? <laughs> yeah, that's, that's so funny. they think I'm a piece of shit. Kids are and, funny. Uh, Ninja, just because he was conceived at the Olive Garden parking lot doesn't make him make him a town. Bathroom. <laughs> bathroom. Come on, we made it. In we were sanitary when we did that. When that happened. No, Chris is the one of the great guys. I seriously love Chris. Chris, I'm, I'm not just I'm saying that. You know, I you know I hate everybody. Oh, I pre I appreciate that, man. I'll probably die before I'm 35, but right. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's a real Brendan laugh you just I got like there, that. Chris. And today I noticed even the U-Bond guys, they're all business right now. Well, you know, you're feeding 10,000 people. And remember, this is very dangerous for barbecue guys, and I'll tell you why. When you come to a place like New York, everyone thinks they're an expert. Yeah. So everyone's standing online here. They got a little green egg at home. They have their little apron their shitty wife gave them for Father's Day. <laughs> <laughs> all the weekend warriors are here, you know what I mean? And they're all in authority on something. I want to overdose on diet pills. I'm dying my sleep. <laughs> oh, my God, what a sad <laughs> way to That's, go. Put a, put a, put a, put a, if you're going to do that, you should put them in a pint of haagen chocolate peanut right. butter. And just, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so pathetic. A whole bottle of ephedra and just my fucking corpse. <laughs> the last time I worked with, with Stan, we are in Northern California during the fires. Yeah. And we're serving food. On, and I look at this guy, I'm like, your house didn't burn down, bro. <laughs> you could tell there was no soot on his face. Uh, he was hair. sootless. He was sootless. <laughs> and, get and to the back of the line. Get to the back of the line, <laughs> sir. Is, is he is he muscling me because he that he has to jump in? He has to defend you at all times? I'm not defending him. What are you it, saying? What's the false narrative? You said that you invited him to yeah, the thing show and he didn't come. Hashtag truth. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no, he's coming out again. <laughs> yeah, you kind of you kind of put it out there that I I blew you off and I wasn't even invited. I'm so. gonna pee. Guy Fieri was cooking with. Well, he was, he was yelling at me the whole time. It's, why why is Guy Fieri yelling at you I as he's I, trying to feed people that are in I'm, need? I drink through the whole thing. I was like I was at the Super Bowl. <laughs> you know, no one said I was a good person. Over you can even drink through a forest fire. <laughs> oh, I got nervous. I thought it was still going on. <laughs> oh, God. I that sounds awful. I drank through a forest. Fire. Yes, Kenny. I put my glasses on for Kevin. Now what? <laughs> oh my god! Now what? Club soda. I don't know what to do. I don't know if you're really mad. Like when Jerry Cooney was mad, I don't know if he was really mad. Uh, Cooney was pissed acting. off. Yeah, he was really mad. He was really no, mad. You he said, "Let he me was refresh mad a week your later. recollection." You said, "If I had glasses on, you would punch me in the face." Now what? Because he's like a real security guy, right? He could, he knows headlocks and he knows whatever. <laughs> he was a professional fighter. But you could, you're, you could beat me up, right? It's up to you. <laughs> Why does it seem like everywhere I go, people want to hurt me? Maybe it's me. There she is. She, she's in pain. She got a tattoo in the middle of the event. What's up, princess? Hi, guys. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> Y'all laugh every time I talk. <laughs> You look good with glasses on, Kenny. <laughs> Did you go to Lenny's wedding? Someone's going to have a broken jaw. Because no. I know you guys are tight. I know you and good. Lenny are tight. Going good. You just worry about you. <laughs> no, did you go to... Were you invited to Lenny's wedding? You don't have to be concerned with my whereabouts. Let me ask you a question. <laughs> Let me ask you a question. Who do you... Uh, I see you got some uh, new ink there. I do, I do. Billy Durney took me to, um, to Smith Street Tattoo Parlor in Brooklyn. And... Um, you know, Did you see my, all the hipsters on their unicycle? Uh, yeah, I hate them. Right? Wearing uh, astronaut <laughs> helmets and <laughs> French bulldog from a shelter. Ugh. No, but that's our thing anyway. That, that, that I try to get on the show and you won't let me on. So that's like a running gag anyway. Fair enough. Not anymore. <laughs>
<laughs> we used to do a bit on the old radio show right. about the hipsters in Brooklyn, where you just take two items and put them together, and that's what they're that's what they how they walk around in Brooklyn. <laughs> so it's not helmet. So it's like person. a ski mask and sandals <laughs> or like a cape. Oh my god! And they're all from Wisconsin, Wisconsin. Yeah, with yoga pants. <laughs> Can he do the thumb trick to you? No, you, no one can touch me. One thumb trick, and then everything will be don't good. Don't break my thumb. Don't, I'll be like, it would be like, one thumb, thumb trick. Yeah, my they thumb, took my thumb, thumb, Charlie. My thumb, Charlie. That brought Rob. And then no one will call you a coward. He's got him. Oh, Brennan's holding oh, up. Fuck. He's holding up. Oh, Something's fuck. Something's going on. Jeez. Something's going on. I'm kind of impressed. It's not working yet. <laughs> This Come is, on, that's got to hurt. No, I don't know. He, he'll break it. He's not talking, though. No, he's, he's focused. He's, he's, yeah, I like it. That doesn't hurt. He stopped. No. Can he stop? Ooh, that doesn't hurt. See, numb. look at him. He's, he's, <laughs> that didn't hurt? No. <laughs> he's sticking I would, I would like to feel something. <laughs> That's why he did it. <laughs> Billy Durney took me to his personal tattoo artist. and um, Was he there? He was. Look, did he talk to him angrily that, like he does to everyone? Hey, listen, this is my friend. You treat her right or I'm going to punch you in the face. <laughs> Thank you. You're, we're all family. Up. That dude, we're all family. <laughs> he ends it with that. Hey, cocksucker, we're all family, all right? Your mother, by the way. Goodbye. I'm saying I don't know if I should keep him on because the fans hate him so much. I don't know if that's good for like con the controversy angle where they're like the fans hate him so much they ha they they have to listen like Stephen A. Smith or something like that. But like I hate this guy, but I have to hear what he has to say. I think that's how I think that's why I have you on. So then <laughs> we've got one place in the hood that is just I think it would frighten most people, but they have some of the best sandwiches and burgers. Wait, you ever. got a hood down there? Like, it's all the hood. Um, <laughs> Yeah, Terrence calls me Sweet Bean, the East Side Ghetto Queen. <laughs> <laughs> wow, Sweet Bean. <laughs> very, very nice. I'm Team Kevin Brennan on all this shit. I, I love, all hey, and even my team mom, Neil Brennan. I'm Team fucking Kevin. Even my mom sided with Neil on that, but my mom's a gigantic star fucker. So. <laughs> So gigantic. When 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 Ray Romano got a sitcom, my mom knew that I was friends with Ray Romano. So my mom would send clippings from the. She lived in Philadelphia. I'll yeah. give her out her fucking address. I don't give a shit. Anyway, she lived in uh she lived in Philadelphia, and uh, she would get all these Philadelphia Inquirer press clippings about Ray's show or whatever. She would mail them to me. I go, Mom, it's not me. It's not me. I got I'm not on the show. I got nothing to do with like stop. Just because you know stop. him. No, because she was like so excited. Yes. Her fucking pussy would get wet just the the, the, the f f five degrees of separation from ray romano when i was like 14 i said i'm gonna get a tattoo and my grandfather says come here you dummy he says the odds of you becoming a criminal are a thousand percent he says don't get earrings or tattoos because that's how they'll find you <laughs> he probably he, <laughs> He's probably wanting to say, wait till you get to prison and yeah. get the tattoo. Get it done with a big pen. That way. Right, right. Have your new first boyfriend make it. Yeah. <laughs> Put his name on there. My How much do they pay, away. like, Cousin Bruce? Do they pay him because he's, he's a name? <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, he was up till 5.30. You played Bubbles last night. Oh, so I played Bubbles last you. night and went out with Sam Jones till 5.30. Explain Ooh. playing Bubbles. I, I, I found that impressive. We were all taking pulls off. What were we drinking last night? I know some uh, Buffalo Trace, yeah. Eagle Rare, Jim yeah. Beam. Uh, we were all just taking some nice pulls, and then uh, everyone... You were kissing the bottle. Kissing the bottle. Is that kiss oh, is that what yeah, it's called? kissing yeah. the bottle. Just a little taste. A little Carl was playing Bubbles. <laughs> <laughs> I apologize for the cold sore you're going to get Tuesday. <laughs> oh, <damn it. laughs> and if you kept your mouth shut, I would have blamed that on Carl, too. <laughs> you want some more of the Trump stories? There's a whole list. Yeah. And Kasich. I'll never give Kasich anything. Kasich supposedly came around and congratulated him, though. Well, well see, what right. choice did he have? It's like, I congratulate Jeff Ross when I see him. I hate his guts. <laughs> <laughs> what are you congratulating him for, by the way? Because he's doing well. Because he, he's, he's the he's ugliest man well. in show business, he's and he's on TV. I, I, thought, I, I thought I'd never seen the day a guy that ugly would be regularly on TV. <laughs> so that's what you congratulate him for? Yeah, I go, I go you, did the, on TV? you did the impossible. <laughs> You're a, you're a minus one looks wise, and you're on TV occasionally. That's great. I just I just figured the the, the high alcohol is burning off everything no. that you could get. <laughs> Cold sores don't go away. Right. You don't even know what you're getting from my dad. Oh, <laughs> oh, no. I hope he caught the herpes. Oh no.
He's being a complete baby. It's LeBron, not like he said LeBron. LeBron, LeBron. Yeah. It's not like he said gang of Negroes or yeah. fucking hoodlums right. or anything like that was really badly racial. Crowd right. of jigaboos. Yeah, anything. Right, that was nothing. <laughs> I, I, I like that. Like that. Isn't that a band out of Nashville? Crowd of jigaboos. Bluegrass band. Bluegrass band. And they sell out everywhere. Below, below the Mason Dixon line. Can't get it out. Can't get a t-shirt. They pack it out. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? <laughs> Jerry, top of the day to you, lads. <laughs> How in the world are you? I'm good. You guys, you guys did it upright last night. I had a Man. good time. Oh, did, did I see you last night? <laughs> I told you he don't know you. I had, a, I had a, uh, I had a large time last night. That was really good. That I enjoyed fun. that. I have never had time pass by as fast in my life. If if all my life passed by that fast, I'd be dead tomorrow. Yeah, no <laughs> kidding. Hey, tell them what your theory of life, what life is like. You know, as I get a little older, I realize that um, life is like a roll of toilet paper. <laughs> the closer you get to the end, the faster it goes. And I'm almost to that cardboard dirter, you know. It dirt, you know, you know what a dirter that. is? I don't know you what don't a know dirter is. That cardboard center. You know, the kids do it and they say, dirter, dirter, dirter. <laughs> that's, a, that's a dirter. That's a dirter. <laughs> Tonight on the Red Eye. And yeah. tonight on Red Eye, and then I'll probably punch Lou Dobbs in the fucking face. <laughs> For just, not being Bernard Just to Shaw. go viral. And, uh... <laughs> 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 